So this video will give you a little bit introduction about the thread because our room database uh, tutorial is somehow it related to the thread as well. The thread can be classified into the two categories. One is the breakdown thread, another one is the UI thread or we call it as the main thread. So for the background test, basically the all the code is running in the background. And then there is some rule that is important for the UI thread. The Android developer guideline already tell us first we cannot block the UI thread. Second, we cannot access the Android UI toolkit from outside of the UI thread. So what does these two guidelines actually mean? I will tell you what this mean. This mean is to not port the UI track. So this is the example app that I created to tell you what the UI track is. So I have a three button here. The first button, if I click it, they will change the text view to the hello guys. And then I have a button that which will run the code in the background. And then after a few seconds, if you change the text view to the run. And I have a button, another button that will have a running a long operation inside the UI track. So if I click it, basically you your UI will be freeze and you cannot do anything. So I will show you again. If normally if I change it, I will I can change the text view to the hello sky. If I run Click the button run in Bengal, I will change to the run. So for this button, it's not running the code in the background, it's running in the UI crack in the ROM process. If I click it, I click the change button, it's not going to happen because this button function has blocked the UI. So this is something that we do want to have. If you check the code of these three button, the button change is going to set the text view to the hello sky and then the run i'm going to block the ui for the four second then only change the text view to the run so just now i already show you if i click the run button i cannot create the button chain if i click the button which is run in the background one it is also do the same thing which will stop for four seconds if I click this, I'm still able to click the chain button. So as you can see, this code is running in the background as it does not block any interaction between the user and the view. So this is the first rule from the Android developer. That means I did not block the UI track. I will run the wrong running process inside the background track. Second is, we do not access the Android UI toolkit from outside the UI track. UI track. That means the UI toolkit basically is refer to the something like the text view, button, image view, and so on. So when you try to access the UI, the view inside the breakout track, it will give you the error. So if you can see my code. I have another set of code that to set the text for the text view to the run inside the run on UI track. So whenever you want to change the text view or the view image view or the button property, you should run it in the UI track. Basically, commonly all this kind of code is running inside the UI track. As except that when you especially try tell the Android to run the code inside the background using this kind of method, this only one of the example you have few other example that you can run your code inside the background. So when you specific tell the Android this this code this portion of code will be run in the background, then only this code will be run in the background. So because this code is running to the background, 
basically you cannot do something like this so basically it will give you the error when you run it so because you are accessing the view inside the breakout thread so to make sure this code is running on the ui thread again this is the method you can use to make sure the code is run in the ui thread by using the run on ui thread method so go back to your Roam application, you can see that's why I tell the Android that all this line of code is running on the background because we are accessing the database. This might be a little bit delay and which might block the UI. So I already tell the Android to run all this code inside the background. However, because the toes and also the list view is inside this function, that's why inside the toast toast method we navigate to the toast method I use define kind of method to make sure the toast is run on the UI track again while for the for the list view to show back the list view I'm using this method to make sure the all the adapter is running on the UI thread. So that's why I have this kind of code and also the toast message is make sure the toast message is run on the UI thread. Okay, hopefully you can get a little bit more understand why we are going to have the breakout thread and why we are running the toast in a so different way that you have wrong line of the code this is because we need to make sure the toast function is run on the ui track okay thank you very much hope to see you again